Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a balanced overview of the HiveMapper B dashcam, going through the positives, negatives, future of the project, and if it is worth the purchase. As a quick overview, HiveMapper are currently in the process of discontinuing their older model dashcams, the HiveMapper Dashcam S and the first original dashcam. They will be replacing them with the HiveMapper B series. The reason they are doing so is to make it much more easier and reliable to gather the data that's been mapped by users. And also you cannot undermine that they are trying to sell more products. At the end of the day, they are a business. For reference, the first week alone, they ran a minimum of $4 million in terms of sales. So let's start off with the positives. Number one, manual uploading is over. So currently HiveMapper require users to record data and then upload it manually to the HiveMapper network. If the data is not uploaded by a certain date and time, then users are not rewarded for the data sets collected. The new models will allow data to be uploaded automatically when connected to a Wi-Fi network. Or even better, if you have an LTE wireless data plan, the data is uploaded automatically. What this means for us users is that we just have to place the device within our car and let it run to earn rewards, meaning less effort, more reliable uploads and time saved. Number two, increased rewards. The new HiveMapper B will collect a different range of datasets, which will prove to be much more valuable to scale the HiveMapper network. And for doing so, they will restructure the rewards to incentivize users to deploy HiveMapper B dashcams. However, how these rewards are to be restructured is yet to be determined by the company. Number three, LTE is optional. The reason that this is a positive is that you might want to consider to run an LTE wireless data plan and just leave the camera within your car and it uploads data automatically. This of course saves you a ton of time and is more reliable in terms of uploading to the network. However, during a bull run, this might be feasible, but during a bear market, you might be spending more on your data plan than actually earning in terms of rewards. So having the option of LTE will allow you to terminate the data plan whenever need be and upload via Wi-Fi. Number four, price point. For a video dashcam, the B averages lower in price than the dashcam S, which makes it much more affordable for new users to enter the project and also makes it faster to gain your return on investment uh, before making profits. With that being said, let's talk about the negatives. Number one, long wait time. For any new orders on the dashcam B, you would have to wait approximately six months to receive the device, which is Q3 of 2024. To be honest, this is a really long time to wait for a product. The issue with this is that the share of rewards will start to reduce as more users onboard the network. And if the bull market ends, you'll be left with a device which hardly earns anything. Number two, customer service. HiveMapper's customer service is lacking and they take a very long time to respond when upgrading a product or trying to receive a refund. This puts the question, when demand surges even higher, how will they respond to all those clients who are awaiting a device? Bad customer service is the flaw of any company and before they scale much further, they need to address this issue before going forward. So finally, what is the future of HiveMapper? First of all, the early birds caught the worm. The really profitable days of HiveMapper have faded away. However, the new dashcam is not much of an investment to break even and make good profits, especially if you follow the guide on how to make the most rewards and if you drive a lot. Second of all, money price. Honey is the token which is rewarded to users who map data and upload it to the HiveMapper network. The token price is currently sitting at a low market cap and still has potential to rise as demand drives higher. The only concern I have is the circulating supply. As more tokens are distributed out to the market and as early investors take profits, this will drive down the price of Honey token. There needs to be much more purchasing power of the token than market sell-offs. Third of all, enhanced dashcams. HiveMapper will most likely develop higher quality cameras and maybe even 360 cameras, which can capture full views of road data. Remember that the company is a business and they're here to make money by not only selling data, but also by selling hardware. 
The more hardware they sell, the more cash flow they have to build and develop the project. Fourth on the list is the Deepin Narrative. The Deepin Narrative is going to be massive during this bull run and Hive Mapper inevitably is going to be part of that topic. For those who know about Hive Mapper now, you are still early as there's going to be many new users who are going to be buying dash cams towards the end of 2024. Finally, partnering with Helium. As you might know or might not know, the CEO of Helium, Amir Halim, is part of the board of directors for HiveMapper. With this close connection, this means the integration of Helium Mobile and the new HiveMapper B dashcam with the wireless data option is most likely going to be a marketing feature that arises in the near future. So what are my final thoughts? Can the HiveMapper B make you a millionaire? I doubt it, but it can turn profits, which will allow you to invest into other crypto projects. For the price point it sits at, it's actually not a bad purchase, especially if you're looking for a device to just run and accumulate rewards. If you are big into the crypto space, there might be other deep in projects which might be more profitable, or crypto coins which have better value over a long period of time. Personally, my best investments in the crypto space have been mining projects, which you mine and leave to accumulate, and then you take profits when it meets your personal targets. This video was created to shine light on the HiveMapper B dashcam and the potential of the project and not investment advice. If you found it useful, please do give it a thumbs up, stay subscribed, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.